Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome to Back to the Basics today. I am going to be your guide today. My name is Ketty. I am on the customer support team here at Audience. So stoked to be going over a couple of new things we have and just um, a good basic overview um, to give you maybe some more guidance or relearning a new tool. So um, happy to help. Today with me, I do have Jay. Um, he is in our Q&A little chat there if you see it. So please go ahead and shoot him any questions that you have during this call we have. We will have a little question um, time here at the end. So if you do have any questions that you'd like to discuss and they can discuss over um, the video call here, then feel welcome to save those for later. But if you do have them while we're going through, please share those. And if I see them, I'll answer them. If um, they get kind of overstepped, Jay will jump in and, and answer those questions for you. So we're grateful to have him here. But today we are going to discuss um, our focus of surveys and polls. So we'll take a second to get into that and talk a little bit about our, our dashboard and the setup there. Um, and then we are going to jump into a little bit, like I said, questions we have. Um, so if you have anything that you feel like you could need answered or a little more explanation, just let us know and we'll jump into that uh, and give a little more detail there. So let me jump into our dashboard here. And let's talk a little bit about more of surveys and polls. So again, welcome. Um, happy to have you all here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about our dashboard. When you log in to audience, you will see your main dashboard here. So you'll jump in and you'll see your campaigns and anything that's upcoming or you're working on is automatically saved and saved down here below. Um, you will have schedules and dates and everything that it will organize and you can see what you have going on inside of audience. Now, um, I am going, like I said today, discuss surveys and polls. So I am actually going to use one of our templates and kind of show you what that looks like. And we'll dive into how that's created, any little things there that can help you in the creation. Now with creation of surveys and polls, they are in the one application here. Um, there are a little bit differences. Um, they are very similar. Like you know, polls are a fast and easy way to host elections on people's opinions, uh, but it does not require users to give information upfront to vote or to give their answer. Um, they can enter in the information later and that shows it being saved, um, but it's not required. And that's the difference between surveys. The surveys is required to share your information before you give a response. So just to keep you on the same page there, there is a little bit of a difference. Um, they do look very, very similar. So to go and create a new one, you would select surveys and polls here and say creation. But like I said, I'm going to use a template today. So I'm gonna pop that in here and you will see that populate with the graphics already that we provide here at audience. Um, the first page it shows is your results, step one. Now this is going to pop through and show in what it looks like to, um, what results will be viewing in the end. Um, you will have the same kind of step format. If you have been following our past months back to the basics, we do go over sweepstakes and galleries, and we do have the same entry form. Um, it does look just like this. You'll go through the initial sign-ins and um, that will lead to the question section. So I'm still gonna review over this, um, even though you might be very familiar. With the step one, you will have an entry process. So you will need to add either an email or Facebook, um, whatever that you, would prefer, really it's just gathering an email for you to enter. Um, and like I said, with polls, this will only need to be logged in to view results. So they could go in and give an answer of what their favorite cookie is, right? Or um, they don't have to, but it does still save those results for you. So this is a quick way if you're looking for just some feedback from your users or a way to just get some interaction, um, something fun for them to interact with and just keep you know, contesting live on your page. This is a good way to find that. Or you do have a client that you need actual answers to. Um, maybe there's a demographic you're shooting for and you wanna understand your people better in that way. Um, that's where surveys would come into place if you're gathering information. So keep that um, in mind here. And it will differentiate on top, so if you need that, just a reminder, it is login to view results for polls. All right, so we're gathering that information. We got our, each visitors may enter how many times, and we'll go to step two. Again, basic, what are we getting from them? First name, last name. There's different fields here that we can ask for. Um, if you're looking for something more detailed in a poll, I would keep it simple, um, but maybe this is something you need to add. You know, maybe we need a birthday or a phone number, so. You have the same social fields and user fields and other fields that you'd gather from 
your other soup steaks that you could add here. All right, um, and at the very bottom, you're gonna receive in question here, say result page options. So you can either hide the form at the end of the poll. So really, you don't want them to be able to view the results. Just give us your feedback and that's it. That's all we want from you. Or um, you can show them a summary of the results upon the completion, which can be fun if it's some kind of questionnaire that you have that deals with um, you know, interaction from the community, then you could find, okay, then we can see what you're giving back in the feedback there. So I'm gonna turn that on just so we can see that today as an example. Um, and then you can also show statistics on answers from other users, which can be fun as well. Um, we do have this little button here, it says reset all responses. Um, that is for if you are running this week to week or you keep this live and you wanna refresh it so the you know, same numbers aren't just adding up, um, you can refresh it and then use the same poll again. And that helps keep that clean if you're looking for specific numbers. So that is available. Um, just a reminder as well, you do have the design option that does color coordinate with your graphics here above. Um, I could say, oh, I don't think that actually matches right on cue. You know, we could go ahead and, and change that to what we would like it to be. Um, and you do have a couple of design choices here with background and theme, all of that. So that's also available. Now you'll go ahead and you'll pull in your graphic. Like I said, I already used one of our templates here, so it automatically populated to my page. With that, um, you have full capacity to use any of our templates and I'll review that in the end, um, but they're great. So I'm gonna do a cookie wars um, and we'll jump over here to question two. Now, okay, we're doing cookie wars, so we need to find some questions that go with what that is. I'm gonna do a multiple choice question there's plenty of options and I'll review over those in a minute. Um, but get an idea, you'll click on one of those options and you'll be given here A, A, B, C, D, how many answers you wanna add. You can add a choice in and then you can go ahead and ask those questions that you need. Um, I, we are here located in Utah. So we have um, cookie wars go on all the time with all the cookie shops popping up left and right. So we could say uh, what, you know, cookie shop is your fave <laughs> and then we could go ahead and we can ask questions so um, we could say okay the big one here you know we have crumble um we have you know the cookie shop there's plenty of plenty of them here and we could say okay what we're going to do between the two so you can even remove one if you needed to and these can be moved around and then you can give, um, they can go ahead and give that answer there. Now we can also add, uh, make it random. If you want the answer to be random, um, you can go ahead and play with, there's little things you could play with here all day that make this really you know, personal to what you need to make it. Um, adding descriptions can always be helpful if this is someone that doesn't have as much information, just give them a little more idea of what's going on. And we also have a format setting here. So we have the layout of just the questions they can select from, or you could add in photos, um, even behind the text. So you could have your text here, and then you could have a picture of that shop and this shop, and people can select on those. So that's just a fun way to make it um, maybe a little more inviting for them to come in and answer those questions. Now, okay, I'm looking for different questions to ask. I'm going to look at my different options here. So we did multiple choice, um, but you do have, if you're running other kinds of contests that need specific answers, um, there is multiple choices that have select multiple. So you could say, okay, A and B is what I like, but I don't like C or D, things like that. Um, you can rank and sort, which is great. Uh, we have number inputs, rater, uh, date chooser, paragraph text, if you're just looking to gather data, um, why you love your mother, please add in this information. And that's something that, you know, if you're looking for that data, you could gather that here. And then if you're looking for just a sponsor, now something fun with this, if you're looking for um, retail space to, to sell some space here, you can go ahead and add in a sponsor page. Now this won't have any questions here, but you could go ahead and add a graphic of the sponsor that is, let's say one of the cookie shops provided um to sponsorship in this and they can have a little bit of space there to sell their spot and you can even add descriptions or information so while they're taking this quiz they would have a pop-up of that survey um, a pop-up of that sponsor i mean and that allows them to um, give a little more space there on the page so again easy way to interact 
um, you can have plenty of questions going on and you can change what you'd like it to be and what it'd like it to look like, um, ask different questions. These can be moved around after those questions have been asked. So I can say, okay, you know, we're gonna change that out actually. And then we're gonna ask another question here with the rank sort um, below. So um, really, again, self saves in um, real time. So it allows you to move quickly and also see how this helps you um, grow demographic or audience or what you're looking for here. So just a little bit of feedback, um, looking on the questions that kind of helps give a viewpoint of um, how many questions you'd like to keep more or less what helps um, really it just depends on what you're doing. Um, you know, keep it to the point. Sometimes too many questions can drag on and you'll lose some people halfway through. Um, so just something to think about when you're creating this. Now, next, you'll see a couple of different options, like I talked about format above, but we do have our advance. Now we have conditionals on our polls and surveys and also our quizzes that will be talked about next month. This will open up questions um, that can be tagged and then you can choose the choice. Say if people choose crumble, um, then I want that to equal or you know another question that can go ahead and lead them to you know skip a step or lead them to a sponsor of crumble cookies. <laughs> so conditionals are great um, if you're looking to get more detailed with it and really narrow in people into what they're looking for or into your sponsorship that you have here. Now I'm not going to be using this today, so I'm going to and delete this, but um, know that that is available and it can be a really, really greatly used tool. Great. That is a good overview of our questions. Um, I'm going to move on to our settings. Now, settings are um, general settings are very similar to other ones as well. So you will have a time zone in your schedule. So go ahead and set that up, you know, when you're ready to go and it will appear in upcoming and live. Um, you'll have your title prize. Um, you can receive notification emails. Now, that is if you would like to receive an email every time somebody enters a contest. So somebody enters your contest or enters, for this example, your cookie poll, and you receive an email and no. Now, this isn't always to be used for the case that um, you don't necessarily want to be emailed every single time someone enters. If you have you know, a crazy amount of entries, but if you're watching it really closely, this might help you just keep more alert on it. Um, and then recap email, I highly suggest you always pop your email in there. It will just give you a recap when the contest is over of the entries um, and all the information you gathered from the questions and whatnot. So that is options there. Um, you do have your appearance settings down here below. So you can hide the title, you know, white label, removing our logo, um, hiding footing terms or hiding notification email, you know, user data if you want to hide that from them viewing it. So that allows you to, again, any um, personal terms and conditions you need to work around there, that helps. Um, you can go ahead and add in assets if you need to, and then find print rules that goes into terms and conditions. Um, you can click on this and you can actually work out of your terms and conditions from here. If it's something that you have, you can copy and paste your terms and conditions into here and they do automatically save. So it is a good place just to keep them and then you can save your terms and have those available and they'll be here. So keep that in mind as well. Um, we do a promo language. So if you need to change this over to a different language as well, if you work with that, then um, just know it's available too in a couple different languages here. We are broadening that all the time and syndication type. So if you are a parent account and we've talked about syndication before, parent account, um, syndication type is when if you are on uh, a parent account and you wanna share it down to your child accounts, um, you can go ahead and do that so that you have the same contest on all of your pages um, and all of your accounts. And that's a way to do it. There are two options, hosted and template. Hosted would just mean, again, you host it. So if you created it and shared it down, you would be in charge of um, everything that happens, the schedule, when it ends, all of that. Um, and if it's a template, you're just giving them, you know, the contest you set up. And then if people are on your child accounts, they can go ahead and make those um, changes they want, but they were given the kind of the bones of the contest. So just so you know, it's available there too. Now, great, um, two different options here, responder email. Um, this is just for sending automatically emails. It says here um, for anyone that 
completes our quiz. So if you completed your quiz and then wanted to follow up email to match that, um, that is an option. And then we have download filters. This can be played with two, but if you're downloading information, just like um, wanting the details of participants, uh, responses, or just maybe you only want the responses for something you're doing, um, this is just a way to, to get that detailed information quickly downloaded. And this can be downloaded in real time if you wanted to, why the contest is live or um, anytime, this just gives you that good report, just so you know it's there. Awesome. Um, I'm going to come over here to our results page and click on our smart link. Now, our, my contest is live right now, started a couple days ago here, and it will look pop up like this and it will ask you what my favorite question is. Like we talked about, there were two different options to have the lines or the big grids here. I'm going to say, okay, um, crumble, you know, we're giving ratings here. We didn't answer these questions yet, but I'm just showing what it would look like. Um, and we can say next. It will tell you done. Um, thank you for participating. And that can you can change the wording for that. Um, and then ask for my information. Now I can go ahead and enter in an email. And it will actually give me um, what people and what the questions were answered here. So we could say, oh, 67% of people you know, answered question one. Um, just giving you a recap. So that's how you gather that information on a poll. It would be in the end if they choose to, but they could bail out and you're still gathering you know, the answers here. But a survey would require it from the beginning. All right. Um, I hope that was a good little quick review of our poll here. I'm going to jump into um, a little bit of our settings we have above. Um, again, these are consistent with all of our applications. You will have a stats page. Um, the stats will go through and run um, through your contest and show how many participants are in, unique participants. A unique participant means any new first time users that haven't interacted with any of your um, contests before. And then you can break down by question. So that's what you see is different here. You can click on your question and say, oh, OK, we only had one response to this question. And it was 100% on this answer. Or if you had 20 responses, you know, 50-50, you just get an idea. This is where a good way that you can quickly view and see you know, how your contest is doing and how people are interacting with it. So this is a great option. And then you can come on to other questions. OK. And what does it look like here? So this is really helpful. Again, this is located in your stats tab and you can come down here and click individually your questions here. Next, you have your download. And like any of our download tabs we have, you can download any and all information. Um, it is more specific because you have, you know, participant information and you have data you're being gathered from questions. So you can download that separately or all together. Um, and then you could either download just the form entry information that you're gathering. And that would be just downloaded here. Um, and then you'll have your choose winner. With choose winner, now um, this is very familiar with winner calculations. So are you adding in, you know, your entries? And then you'll have your eligibility. So what duration are we choosing winners from? You know, if you run this for a month, but you specify that winners are chosen from these days, however you're wanting to do this contest, you can do that. It's flexible. Um, and then you can go ahead and choose from all entries um, or choose from users. So they're weighted equally. And that is the definitions here. If you might get confused when you're doing this, you'll see the definitions. Um, and you can go ahead and say view entrance. This will actually show you a breakdown of everybody that has entered their user ID, their email, and when they entered. And we can go ahead and say, OK, it's time to pick a winner, choose a winner, proceed. No eligible people to be chosen. So um, we don't have enough people to be entering this contest right now. So that's just a little bit of your setup on a poll. Um, I just want to specify your graphics and how that works within the contest. Like I said, I uploaded this from our templates here, and this can be you know, downloaded, uploaded, and removed, what you need. Um, theme colors that means it matches the border of your contest can be changed and edited to whatever you need to be personalized. And this also can be changed as your overall wording. Now, 
in the questions, say you don't want a consistent photo going throughout every step, you can change that and you can change every photo individually for each question to be specific to the question or um, you can keep it all the same, which ever is working for you, but just know you have the flexibility to move around and change out those graphics. Now, I hope that um, it gave a good little overview of our polls and surveys. I am going to jump out of here for a second and just give you a little overview of our templates just so you know what's available. This is a great place for you to spend time if you are one looking for ideas on maybe a season or upcoming quarters of ideas for things to run. This gives you that idea. Um, you can go ahead and look at our filters. There are tags on a ton of our contests. So if say you're looking for um, basketball, we'll give you you know, great contests for that. We'll even show we have quizzes, we have contests, polls, um, you know, sweepstakes, these are all here. So you have full access to these. Go in here, download them. You can pull them into a PDF um, that will allow you to, you know, if you need to make changes or add things to the actual graphic, you can do that. Um, there is a ton, <laughs> so hundreds in here. Um, please join in, We, you know, Christmas is coming up, find things for that, Halloween. Um, just know that's available and you can go ahead and also visit our uh, ideas page and we have all of our national contests. So if you're looking for something to add for, you know, back to school, we just are doing that one um, coming that just wrapped up here soon. Um, and then we have our upcoming um, pro football challenge. So go ahead, take a look at those. It's a really great place. Um, again, if you're just looking for ideas or you're looking for a place to uh, move forward in a contest, this allows you to do that. I, I really hope that you guys get in there and kind of look around and see what you could find because it can help look for things. So let me jump over here for a second. Um, are there any questions that I can take today? that would be helpful or anything that we can review um, over the went over today with um, polls and quizzes, polls and surveys. Awesome. Well, I was grateful to be able to share this information with you. Please reach out for help and support if you're ever looking for it. Um, here's a little bit, a couple of resources if you're looking for our support. We do have um, our in-house um, uh, support chat there at the bottom of your audience page. Uh, we are here Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, Eastern. So please um, ask us. We are quick to response. We want to help you and we'll jump on a phone call with you at any minute um, if you need ideas or help or support in any way. Um, we have our email here listed. Please give us a phone call if you need something. Um, and as well, like I talked about, our help at audience. Um, that also gives you an idea and just our calendar for national contesting um, and all the information you need there. So thank you for joining today and we hope to see you next month for quizzes.